Hey guys, what's going on? Pilot here. Uh, so I've had a request on how to make, uh, sorry, once you've joined the airline, I've had a request on how to, um, start up a flight, uh, how to book it, and how to set it up and everything. So, uh, what you're gonna do is, I have my flight simulator up here. Uh, we're gonna be starting a flight, so I'm just gonna change to my airport that I'm gonna fly from. Uh, if it'll load real quick. We're gonna fly from Dublin, because that's where we last landed. Um, we're gonna go to... That, I think that has a jetway. And because we're going to, we're going to be flying out to Frankfurt, so we're going to be doing 12. Okay. It's going to be that, and it's going to be February 1st. Perfect. Uh, fly our weather. So, what we're going to do is go to book flight so once you're logged into FS Airlines um, and you come to uh, my airline Majestic Airways uh, you're probably gonna be bought to the virtual airline page which is overview here and you're gonna see something like this you're gonna see all the pilots we have um, uh, if not you're gonna be bought to your home page which I'll go there uh, so it's one of these two places that you'll be bought and it'll give you all of your information, you know, your membership, uh, the balance in your account, uh, your flight average, your VA rank. Uh, for most of you, it's flight officer or first officer when you join, um, and you'll rank up based on the number of hours you have. Uh, your VA ID, so mine's 001 uh, because I was the first person in it. It'll give you all of your type ratings. So these are all the aircraft in the airline that you have type ratings for. Uh, it'll give you your last five flights, and then you'll be able to see all of them. It'll give you your last flights. Mine was yesterday. Um, it'll give you all your awards that you have, and then it'll give you your signature. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to go to Book Flight. Now you're going to click on Book Flight, which is under your personal, under Profile, above Messages, and it's going to be right in there. And depending on what airport you're at that has an airplane at it, uh, you can only have your starting airport for the airline at a airport that has um, aircraft at it. Otherwise, you'll have to, if you start at a different airport um, when you join in to FS Airlines you'll have to pay money to buy a ticket out of the 10,000 that it gives you um, and you'll have to buy a ticket uh, to a different airport that actually has an aircraft at it so once you're at an airport that has aircraft on it uh, like Dublin um, I think Heathrow has some uh, London City also has some and we have one or two at Frankfurt uh, Princess Juliana and Barcelona I think we have some at. Uh, so we're all over the uh, Europe, all over Europe and the Caribbean right now, and I'm setting up flights uh, into uh, the United States. But what you're gonna do is, I want to fly to Frankfurt. That's where we are, right? That's our flight plan. I just need to set this up real quick in here. And E D D F. All right, that's where we're gonna be flying to. And because we're going the opposite way, we're going to be at 35,000 feet. Save. And yes. Uh, so what we're going to do is, you're going to go through, you're going to have a whole list of flights. Uh, this is just how many flights there are from Dublin. Uh, you could have more from like Heathrow, that's our main hub. Uh, every single airport that we service goes out of Heathrow, other than uh, London City, because that's only 10 miles away. Um, so what you're going to do is, you're going to come here, you're going to fly in the flight. Uh, find the flight that you want to take. It'll give you your ticket price. Uh, so that's how many people. Um, sorry, not how many people, but that's the uh, uh, cost per ticket for economy. That's not counting business in first class. It has uh, something else on it. This is your estimated time of departure. It's just 0001 for right now because um, I just put it like that. So that way you're never late, you're never early, you're never... Um, anything like that. Uh, the estimated time of arrival, that's just basically the same thing. When you're supposed to arrive at your airport, this is when you're supposed to depart uh, the airport Dublin. Um, and this is your SIM rate. Uh, what it is with the SIM rate, FS Airlines will detect if you're going above the SIM rate allowed. Uh, so right, all of the flights, you have to go uh, normal speed, normal time. Uh, that's just how it works. So you're going to find the flight that you want. Uh, mine's going to be MGA228, which is uh, to Frankfurt, and you're going to click click the check mark. And 
And after this, it's going to bring you to the list of aircraft that are at Dublin or whatever airport you're booking a flight from. It's going to give you the amount of fuel on board, the operator, like um, which is Majestic Airways, obviously, the status of that aircraft, its tail number, and the type of aircraft it is. Now, depending on your type ratings, you may fly different aircraft, but uh, you'll need to f only ones that you have type ratings for will show up under this list. Um, so I'm going to fly the 757-200. Uh, and it has 13,000 kilograms of fuel on board, and you're going to click continue. Now, it'll come up, it'll say flight booked, you hit continue, and it'll bring you to its briefing document. So, on this briefing document, what you're going to do, uh, well, you're not really going to do anything on this briefing document, but you have a whole bunch of um, options over here of what you can do. Uh, so, if I do show PDF, alright, this is going to bring me to the pre-flight document um, on a PDF file, you can print this out, do whatever you want with it. Um, so what it has, it has the pilot in command, which is me. It has your FS Airlines rating. Now this is different than your rank for my airline, Majestic Airways. Um, this is the FS Airlines ranking that everyone will see you as. It, it gives you the date and it gives you the document. The flight, it'll give you the origin of your flight, which is Dublin. It'll give you your destination, which is Frankfurt, and it'll give you your flight number, which is MJA228. You'll need this uh, for your flight, and that's how we keep track of what's being flown. Uh, it gives you departure and arrival time, and it gives you your aircraft as well as tail number. Uh, your route, it'll give you your distance, but we do not have a set route or any remarks in. Uh, any of our flights, you can fly whatever route you want to, uh, whatever is easiest for you. Um, so this is going to be about 600 miles and it'll give you under aircraft your passenger weight and money per passenger it'll give you how many it'll give you your uh weight in pounds for your baggage how much uh, cargo you're carrying and how many passengers you're carrying and this setup here 72 54 12 is 12 first class 54 business and 72 economy um your destination it gives you a whole bunch of information on your uh uh, destination airport, like where it is, the region, the city, the magnetic variations, the altitude, longitude, latitude, all that. Your approach, departure frequencies, and the runways, the length, surfaces, uh, and ILS frequencies, and IDs, and headings. Uh, a whole bunch of stuff like that. Stuff you may not need or want uh, if you're just going to do it VFR. But um, if you go back to here, it'll give you all the same information, only in a different format. Uh, so now, what you're going to need to do is, before you fly you need to figure out fuel. So we're just going to load this in. Okay guys, I just loaded in my flight simulator and got everything set up. Uh, what we're going to do now is go to the fuel calc and um, what this does is it tells you how much fuel you're going to need uh, from the flight based on a statistic that they have. Uh, so you have a fuel flow based and you have fuel statistically. Um, so this is going to tell you uh, what time into the flight you're going to be in, and this is going to uh, tell you how much fuel you need for each of these things. So, my taxi, uh, they're giving me like a 15 minute time block for that, which is going to be 1,000 uh, pounds of fuel, 1,500 pounds. Fuel flow based, and statistically it's 1499, so it's not too far off. Uh, this is uh, almost 1,000 off. This is not too far off, but you get the point. So, you're going to look at primarily these two numbers. This is just telling you how overall uh, what the flight's going to be. So if everything goes exactly to this, um, it's going to be about 160 minutes, but the trip is only going to be 90, so I'm expecting an hour and a half flight, um, which means if I take off at 4.30, uh, I should be there by 6, uh, which is always good. But um, if you'll float, you have 19,178 pounds, and then statistically you have 18,433. So this is really based on what you um, think and know, but uh, what I usually recommend you go with the higher number, um, just so that something isn't misread or misplaced or anything like that, and you end up short on fuel, and then you take have 15 reputation points off the airline uh, because of that. So in this case, I'm going to fill up to about... 20,000 pounds of fuel just to give me a little extra time because I know that when I start up um, I start up and I taxi and push back and all that stuff and it uses my fuel so I'm gonna go to about 20,000 pounds on this um, and what we're gonna do is if this will load up 
Okay, uh, so now we're in flight simulator. Here we are. Uh, what you're going to do, I'm paused right now, but this is what I'm going to be flying. Uh, you'll press F to open up this um, FS Airlines thing if you haven't downloaded it yet. Uh, so you'll press F to open. Uh, yeah, if you haven't downloaded it, I'll uh, show you how to download that. But um, you'll press F in game. That's the default key. What you'll do is this is home. You'll have options where you can do this. Then you'll have flight information. So this uh, pilot information over here is going to tell you your name and all that stuff. It's going to give you your rank in the airline. It's going to give you your current location, and it's going to give you your budget, uh, which is how much is in your pilot account. Um, so this, if you go to flight information, it's going to give you your route and aircraft, and it's going to give you a whole bunch of stuff on that. So your departure, departure time, distance, passengers, destination, arrival time, duration, and fuel price of that airport. Every airport has a different fuel price. Uh, the aircraft is going to give you your type, engine, gear, cargo, percentage, uh, percentage of the gear, how much that's intact, registration, fuel tank, uh, the fuel tank, hull, and value. Um, and then if you go to fly it's going to have you fuel up. Now I only need 20,000 pounds of fuel and I'm going to load initial fuel which gives me 30,000 pounds so I am okay to just start on this because I have 14, 14 and 1 so that can't be right. Alright cool so there's no money on fuel that is perfect and I'll just leave it at that. I think I just put my gear up. Okay, I didn't. Alright, uh, so we're just going to leave it at that. And uh, I will load up the page on FS Airlines where I can uh, show you guys how to download the um, uh, FS Airlines pilot client. And uh, I'll see you in a second. Okay, guys. So what's going to happen is you're going to be on the home page of uh, FS Airlines. This is FS Airlines .net. Uh, You're going to see all of this. Now, what you're going to do, you can either go to Downloads, or if you scroll down, you're going to see this. Um, it's the flight tracker, which connects to your, uh, connects to your flight simulator uh, from FS Airlines. What you're going to do, you're going to go Download Flight Tracker, and because I already have one, it'll call it one, but it'll bring, bring you to the Downloads. Now, you'll scroll down, you'll see this, you'll see the change log, you'll see the beta release and what all this is like, and... Um, you'll get the one that you like. So they have a Windows version for 7, XP, 8, and 10. And they have a Mac OS X version. Uh, so you pick the one which is for your computer. Then you just install it. It'll give you instructions on how to install it in the uh, install log there. Um, so yeah, guys. Uh, hope to see you in the uh, airline and flying for us. And this is how you download and get started on your first flight. Uh, so what you're going to do is when you load in the flight simulator and you load in your fuel, you're going to click on the left-hand side and click Fly. Uh, after you've loaded fuel, that'll load you up your fuel and that'll allow you to fly and then you just start uh, flying. Uh, one tip though, uh, if I can jump back in. Okay, I guess it's not going to let me jump back in. Uh, one tip, when you get in, uh, always have your parking brake set before you start up. Um, and push back. When you're pushing back, you release your parking brakes um, after you press fly. When you push back, before you start up, uh, you can either set or not set your parking brakes. It doesn't matter. Uh, when you're taxiing, do not taxi over 20 knots. Uh, so keep it, uh, for the airline, keep it under like, you know, 18, 17 knots. Uh, don't go too fast, otherwise you'll have points taken off um, of your reputation and money will be lost from the airline. Um, you want to not put parking brakes on until you're at the gate of your airport that you landed at. So when you take off, you need to um, keep your speed below 250 knots, uh, under 10,000 feet. Otherwise, reputation points will be taken off. Um, keep your landing lights off above 10,000 feet. So always turn them off around 9,800 feet because it takes a second for it to sink. So it should be all good. Um, and when you're above 10,000 feet, you can go uh, no speed restrictions, keep your landing lights and taxi lights off, gear up always, flaps up before 10,000. Don't overspeed either. Uh, that's not a good thing. Uh, when you're landing, uh, you want to land at a as safe as possible, so you don't want to crash. If you crash, uh, points will be taken off. 
if you lo if you don't fill up your engine, uh, if you don't fill up on fuel enough, um, and you lose engines uh, based on fuel in the air, then 15 reputation points will be taken off the airline. We'll go from 120 to 1, uh, 105. And uh, we don't need that. We worked very hard to get up to 120 reputation points here. Um, shout out to James here uh, for getting us up there. Um, so don't do any of that. And after you land, you want to turn off. When you're at your gate, when you taxi to your gate, make sure to turn your parking brakes on because that signals to F um, the flight tracker that you're done with your flight, you've landed. Uh, don't just go on to the flight tracker and click end flight after you landed. You have to turn your parking brakes on because that is how you um, stop the parking brakes um, penalty point being taken away because uh, if you don't turn them off or you don't set parking brakes then uh, flight simulator will take 10 points off of your reputation for uh, not setting parking brakes. Parking brakes. So, um, yep, guys, uh, if you want to join the airline, go to FS Airlines, sign up, and click uh, Join Majestic Airways. Um, I'll see you all in the air. And uh, those of you who need help on how to start a flight, uh, here you go. And I'll see you in the air and on Flight Simulator. Thanks, guys, and good luck.